It's time again for another installment of The Basics, and on today's show, like I have been doing for other card games, I want to show you a basic deck for Magic the Gathering that you can use as a template or to modify for your own purposes. So let's get started and I'll show you what I'm up to. Now, normally when you're building a deck for Magic the Gathering, you want to use quads. And I've showed you this on a previous episode. A quad is a group of four cards all the same. And most tournament winning or even fun Magic the Gathering decks are made with quads. Now, you don't have to use all quads if you don't want to. It's just something that everyone got into doing almost right from the start. That being said, I have put together a simple black deck in Magic the Gathering that not only relies on quads but triples and some doubles as well because they've come in handy and this is a black deck that I've kept intact over the years maybe switching out the odd quad or triple here and there so I have a selection of the cards out to show you how easy this really is starting off with my 35 percent mana rule which I've also stated in previous episodes 35 percent of the deck is mana it's more than enough to help me bring out what I need to bring out one of the mainstays of black is Dark Ritual. You need to have Dark Ritual in your deck. I have two. I could put four, but I've, I've modified this deck and two works just well. And of course that adds three black mana to your mana pool. Very useful card. I have Spinning Silver, which is a 3-3 creature. It does cost five to bring out, but it has First Strike. Skate Zombies, 2-2 two, two creature, they cost 3 to bring out, it's a good mainstay creature. Bog Glider, cost 3 to bring out, it's a 1-1 one, one creature, but it also has flying. Necro Savant, cost 6 to bring out, but it is a 5-5, five, five. you can sacrifice a creature to put Necro Savant in play. Very useful. Soul Strings, Sorcery, costs X1 to bring out. Return two target creature cards from your graveyard to your hand unless any player pays X. Your opponent's probably not going to want to pay a lot to bring them out, so this kind of helps you. Mind Warp costs X3, possibly 4 to bring out. Look at target player's hand and choose X cards. That player then discards those cards. If the player does not have enough cards in hand, his or her entire hand is discarded. So basically the X in the cost means depending on the amount of cards that you want to discard from your opponent. Wall of Shadows, I've showed you this on previous shows. It's a 0-1 wall, but, and it costs 3 to bring out by the way, damage dealt to Wall of Shadows by creatures it blocks is reduced to 0. Wall of Shadows cannot be the target of spells or effects that can target only walls. Very useful wall. Flow of Maggots, one of my favorite black creatures to bring out. It's three of a cost. It does have a cumulative upkeep of one, but it cannot be blocked by non-wall creatures. It's a 2-2. Two -two. Very useful. Now, I've also put some very interesting artifacts in this deck. Lotus Petal. Sacrifice Lotus Petal. Add one mana of any color to your mana pool. Play this ability as a mana source. Very useful. Charcoal Diamond. Charcoal Diamond costs 2, it comes into play tapped. Tap it again, add 1 to your mana pool. Play this ability as a mana source. JM Day Tome costs 4, so it's a bit of a high cost, but you can draw a card. Now I have other doubles and single, uh, sorry, doubles and triples in here. A few, I don't have enough table space to spread them all out. Needless to say, this black deck is not just a deck of death, but it is a deck that will confuse and piss off my opponent. It's always been set up that way. It's not a hard deck to put together, but because black has a lot to it, you really have to test out different deck types with it and different cards in that deck to make it work. Uh, it took me a while to develop a decent black deck, so it ain't going to happen overnight. Now, that all being said, every color in Magic is different. 
And you can make a simple deck with any color, but it goes down to the cards in it if you're going to use artifacts, quads, triples. So you really have to pay attention to what you're doing when you're building a deck. Especially for black, because this black deck has gone through several incarnations. But it's a very simple, easy to use deck with cards that don't cost you a lot. Save Necro Savant because that's a cost of six. That's a big cost. But if you were playing with a green deck, it would cost you a lot more. That's all for today. Have a great day, everybody.